For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that uh, upgrade your Linux skill level with RHCL 8 new features. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. So, what are those new features? So, this is a new content uh, which is going to be published uh, um, daily, like um, one by one. So, there are new features uh, came in RSL 8. So, all the new features I am going to introduce to you people, like uh, introducing what are those new uh, features on RSL 8. So, upgrade your level. Uh, skill level to RG8 so with the new content so that's called here you can see that uh, the first of all the step one how you can upgrade your RCL 7.6 to RCL 8 which is inline upgrade process so you don't need to reformat it in the system with RCL 8 and uh, install again the all the services and uh, things but uh, already installed system which is already running some services on it and uh, you want to upgrade that 7.6 to 7.8 how you can perform that so that's the inline upgrade process I'm going to show you in this uh, content so the next one is started start is file system so which is a new file system process um, uh, Red Hat is introduced uh, which one uh, will um, reduce your maintenance headache like uh, whenever the file system is fill, filled up so you have to um, increase the file system size and you have to bring some application offline and all the stuff but here no need to do uh, such a thing so the overhead is um, uh, gone using this status file system okay so how we how we can perform this status file system creation and all the stuff we are going to see in this RCL upgrade process. So the next one is VDO virtual data optimizer. So how we can create a VDO disks and um, perform a data copy over it. So and see how it performs the um, deduplication process and all the stuff. So that's the VDO. So it makes a lot easier for us and uh, it makes a lot of data saving, data disk saving or disk space saving on the storage. So the next one is cryptographic policies, how we can um, make your cryptographic policies to um, secure your system. The next one is looks. So this is a kind of black device data encryption. So how we can encrypt your black devices, something uh, which is very, very helpful. Uh, sometimes the data theft protection. So the next one is uh, PBD policy based decryption. So how we can create some policies to decrypt those encrypted devices. The next one is um, NF tables, the new way to write a firewall rules. So which is very very uh, looking into the NF tables. There is mu not much documentation on the websites, but if you keep on practicing this rule, so you can write a number of complex. Uh, firewall rules using this uh, NF tables so which is very fine tuned and um, new version of it so no docker demand is required so whenever actually in RSL 7.6 if you want to run some container uh, you have to install docker services okay our demands to be run on background but here no docker demand is required you can directly run the containers using this pod one and uh, you can build some um, uh, container images using the builder and you can uh, verify those build images using the scopio services and run season one one more service which these are four services which are introduced in RCL 8 which are going to be in a very popular like container service to run on RCL 8 without a demand so that's the fund of it so these are the new um, upgrade processes are like remaining all these most of the things are same like uh, 
normally if you want to create a partitions or if you want to create an LVM or if you want to write firewall rules or if you want to do something so which are most most of the things are same comparatively RCL 7.x version and RCL 8 but these are the new pros new things you have to learn to upgrade yourself to RCL 8 so this is what the course content we are going to create in next few days and upload it on the same playlist so look up the RCL 8 upgrade playlist so that you can see all of these videos thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask